you're the sommelier of this restaurant. Uh, unfortunately, your restaurant manager, he suddenly had to leave. So you, had a, you have a few tables you have to take care of. You have Sarah, a bartender, at your assistance, if you'd wish. I will ask you to start at this table. You will have three minutes for your first task. May I kindly ask to repeat? Thank Unfortunately, you. your restaurant manager sadly had to leave, so you have a few tables to take care of tonight. We, I will ask you to start at this table. You will have three minutes for that. You have Sarah, a bartender, at your assistance, if you wish to. So three minutes, starting now. Good evening, my name is Raimonds, welcome. How can I help you? We would like to order some aperitifs. The ladies will have cocktails, a margarita, and an old-fashioned. Uh, the two of us will have a glass of sparkling wine each. Sparkling. Perfect. I'll get back. So, uh, can you make me an old-fashioned and uh, a margarita, please? Uh, of course. Do you know how they like the cocktail? Uh, they like the salt cream for the margarita up on the rocks? Uh, they prefer any kind of proven or dry whiskey for the old Okay. Oh. So, just excuse me. Uh, regarding the old-fashioned, uh, do you have any preferences regarding... With uh, rye whiskey, please. Rye whiskey uh -huh. and then the margarita salt uh, rim? Up with a salt rim, please. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, rye whiskey uh, and salt rim. Awesome, the drinks will be ready in a minute. Perfect. Gentlemen, regarding sparkling wine, we have a wonderful Prosecco, a wonderful Cava, and also a Dom Perignon 2013. Any preferences? It's a celebration, so we'll have the champagne. Celebration, excellent. Sarah, how are we doing with the cocktails? Because I want to serve the ladies first. Um, how many minutes? Um, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, perfect. So, gentlemen, we have a Dom Perignon 2013. Would you like to try? Yes, excellent. It's a great champagne, of course. Uh, please. Perfect. I'll be back uh, with the glasses. I'll serve the ladies first. Do you have some coasters or? Okay, no problem. Perfect. A margarita. And an old fashioned. So, a margarita with a salt rim and an old fashioned, please. Thank you, Sarah, so much. And sir, Adam Perignon, would you like to have maybe a, a nice snack with these wonderful cocktails? And uh, we would like to serve a nice smoked garlic and Comté cheese gougere with your uh, champagne. And for the ladies, uh, San Filippo anchovy in a uh, phyllo pastry. I'm sorry, could you tell us a little bit about the uh, vintage of the champagne, please? So this is uh, 2013 vintage, um, after the great 2012, but 13 was a, a little bit colder, uh, a classic vintage uh, in champagne, so gave more freshness, more tension, and also um, a great vintage for Chardonnay. 12 was for Pinot Noir, so uh, it's a great vintage for Chardonnay, but as we know, Dom Perignon is a blend of all three grapes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Come with me. Now we would like you to take care of these two tables, starting here. This table. You will have 14 minutes for this task. Time starts when this gentleman has placed the order. Could you please kindly repeat this task? Now we would like you to deal with these two tables, starting over here. You have 14 minutes in total, starting when this gentleman has placed its order. Perfect. Good evening. Welcome. My name is Raimonds. Uh, how can I help you, please? We ordered a magnum of Chateau d'Isson to match our main course, uh, which will be served later. And we would like you to decant it and serve it. Would you like a repeat? Yes, please. We ordered a magnum of Chateau d'Isson to match our main course, which will be served later. 
and we would like you to decant it and serve it. Time start now. Perfect. Good evening, gentlemen. Welcome. My name is Raimonds. How can I help you, please? We are waiting for some friends. Okay. Would you like to have any? No, it's fine for us. We are just waiting. Okay. Perfect. So, I will use these wonderful cooped glasses for this uh, magnum of Chateau de Saint from Margot. And I see you have already a nice aperitif in your glasses. So. So, Mr. Massas, this is Chateau de Saint from Margot Bordeaux, 2016 vintage from France. Thank you very much. Perfect. Are you enjoying Paris so far? Excellent. Hi, Marcus. Oh, Hello. sorry. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. I can see you. <laughs> Again? <laughs> so, the lady? Excellent. Please, welcome. So, welcome. Uh, I'm just in the middle of the cantation. Can I offer you something? Yeah, as our guest just arrived, we order a bottle of 2013 Dom Perignon. Please serve it right away. Perfect. Thank you. We have a wonderful Dom Perignon 2013 from Champagne, France, correct? Sure. Perfect. Pardon me, Monsieur Basso. Um, I'll be back with the decantation in just uh, two minutes. Uh, you have a wonderful um, um, aperitif, and I will get with the decantation in a few minutes. Is that Thank fine? You. Yeah? Fine. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> the first one. So this is a great champagne you chose. Very happy to serve it. And uh, would you like me to recommend maybe a, a, a nice compliment with this wonderful champagne? Would be an idea. Excellent. So um, I would like to propose a wonderful uh, tuna crudo, which is lightly salted tuna. Uh, we serve it with a wonderful uh, dressing of uh, lemon and also some caper and a black caviar on the top. Do you mind if I taste the wine, sir? Please. Thank you. Excellent. Please. Thank you. Thank you. 
And uh, 2013 is the latest vintage of Dom Perignon, this great champagne, which is made from all three grape varieties, aged around eight years on the lees. So it's a combination of great complexity, freshness, texture, and minerality. And if you need anything else, I'll be really happy, uh, really happy to help you. Thank you. Please. Would you like to keep the cork, sir? Yes, please. Kay. And uh, we need your advice as an expert. OK. I have a glass here. We are going to have a corporate dinner here in France, and one of our partners, who is not here tonight, so he can speak freely, has adjusted this red wine. Could you please give us your opinion on the quality of this wine? Uh -huh. So I think it's a wine with a slight evolution. It shows not only beautiful primary aromas, but these kind of woodland, earthy, tobacco. The complexity is quite high. I feel a lot of flavors, a lot of different groups here. The palate is really polished with nice freshness. Uh, however, I think you should enjoy it now. It's not maybe um, thought for long-term aging. And I think the quality, because of the freshness, the complexity, the fine tannins, is very, very good here, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. So, I am back, sorry. <laughs> I see you still have your sparkling wine. Maybe, um, so you, you, you mentioned you already ordered a nice main course, so probably um, I will skip uh, another recommendation, but uh, maybe I'll offer you a nice amuse-bouche while you're enjoying this wonderful sparkling wine, and maybe an aperitif, uh, sorry, appetizer. As you wish. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, we just received a really fresh lobster, so I would like to give you a nice lobster tail with a, a curry glaze and fresh um, apple and fennel on the side. So, I will just prepare the decanter. Sir, do you mind if I check the wine for quality? And uh, this red wine is a really classic, and uh, 16 was an excellent vintage. It's one of my favorite vintages, actually. It's a combination of freshness, concentration, and it will be definitely a vintage for long-term aging. And this is a wine from Margot. So Margot always reflects this finesse and elegance. And uh, this is a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. And uh, we will use this wonderful uh, decanter to give a nice oxygen that will really relieve the complexity of this wine. Uh, the temperature is also really important. I can uh, feel that it is slightly chilled uh, around 15, 16, but I can assure you till your main course it will be perfect 17, 18. Great. And this is a great wine with game, with red meats, obviously. So. Pardon me. Here's the cork, sir. Yep. And please. Voilà. Fine, thank you. Thank you. Madame. Please. And also, since this is a magnum, if you have still some le left after your main course, which I doubt, but in case you will, I would like also to recommend you a nice selection of cheese, hard cheese like Ossai Iriti from France, or for example, uh, Comte, which is also a great classic. Uh, these cheeses will excellent complement this complexity of uh, this wonderful red wine. Would you like to keep the cork? As you wish. And would you like to have the decanter and bottle on the table? As you wish. <laughs> OK, great. It's a great decanter. I think it looks absolutely wonderful. Uh, macaroon, by the way, almost like Macron, but Macaroon decanter. 
uh, from Chef Sommelier, and you can make a nice picture. Is everything fine here? Yeah? Perfect. Let me just take care of this wonderful champagne. Are you fine, lady? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Great. Okay, don't be. <laughs> so, uh, what a night. <laughs> 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 Just how are you doing here, having your cocktails? Maybe some recommendation from my side about wines? It's fine? Yeah? Excellent. Enjoy. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Sarah, is everything fine here? <laughs> any any other orders? No? <laughs> Great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Mr. Larson, maybe we can continue. Thank you. Yeah, let's continue. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks. For your next task, very uncomplicated instructions this time. Please identify these four wines. You have four minutes. No need to repeat, we can start. Four minutes starting now. Wine number one is from Austria. It is a Grüner Weltliner, vintage 2020 from uh, Kamtal. Wine number three comes from France, from Burgundy, Chardonnay-based wine, vintage 20, 2018. Um, yeah, from Côte de Bonne, Premier Cru, uh, no, good quality village, Chardonnay, Burgundy, 2018. Number four, we're also in France, northern France, Chablis, Burgundy, Chardonnay-based wine, 2020 vintage, um, good village quality. And number two, a slightly muscatty flavor here. I go with uh, Moscow Filero from Greece, from Penelope, uh, Penelope uh, from Mantinia. Yeah? Moscow Filero 2021 vintage from Greece. Very muscat like, very fresh and crisp.
Yeah, I think um, I'm done with the okay. identification. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Great. A small dessert. <laughs> In front of you, there are two pieces of rock. Please associate them with two of the wines in front of you. You have one minute. So I'll start with the largest rock here. I think it looks for me like uh, Gufflagneis, which is a primary rock from the Wachau. So I will link that with wine number one, since I called it a Grüne Veltlina from Austria. This looks like a, actually a, like a schist, like a slate, like a gray, gray slate. So no Riesling here. I will link it uh, with uh, wine number three. Time. <laughs> you not only have to be a sommelier, you have to be a geologist as well. Yes, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Follow me over here. We have a very special guest with us tonight, Chef Anne-Sophie Pic. She has a question for you, and I will give you your timing afterwards. Good evening. Pleasure. So here is the menu. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Here is the menu we are serving in my restaurant in Valence. Please choose four different courses from this menu to match each of the four wines you just tasted and explain why. Uh, may you kindly um, repeat the task for me? Would be nice, thank you. Here is a menu we are serving in my restaurant in Valence. Please choose four different courses from this menu to match each of the four wines you just tasted and explain why. Very good. Three minutes starting now. So, um, yeah, welcome, I have the pleasure. We will start with uh, actually the Gold Tröpfchen from Nick Weiss, St. Urbans Hof, which is a wonderful Riesling, youthful 2021 vintage, full of energy, freshness, brightness, acidity. And with that, I would like to go for Galithi Galithia Sea Urchin, which is also really fresh, salty, with iodine. And I believe this saltiness and sea character of the urchin will wonderfully balance the bright and high acidity, and also the saltiness will enhance the wonderful fruitiness of this wonderful, great Riesling. Afterwards, um, we can go with the... Um, just a moment, sorry. Yeah, we can go with the John Dory with chestnut miso glaze, all on tea, and rum sauce. So John Dory or Saint Pierre is a flat fish uh, with a very kind of um, quite firm texture. And uh, I think it would be really nice together with uh, Semillon from Argentina, from Ricatelli, which had uh, a lovely oily texture, lovely fruit, also quite bright acidity to go through the richness. And also the texture will wonderfully complement uh, uh, the sauce as well. So then we will go with the um, wheel sweetbread, which we serve with beeswax, chamomile, cauliflower, alpine cheese. So quite tender, very delicate meat, which I would like to pair with a uh, Kellerberg Smaragd Riesling from Domene Wachau, from, uh, from Austria. Has enough uh, richness, structure, acidity, and spiciness to 
cut through the richness of the wheel and also not to overhelm the delicacy of the meat. And uh, we would like to finish with a Williams pear, bitter orange, almond, and saffron. We will serve it not that sweet, so we will uh, pair it with wonderful Semillon 2021 from Alhite Vineyards. Uh, this wine ha had a lovely kind of sweet, ripe fruit character, also this kind of citrus, orangey notes in the wine, which will wonderfully complement uh, also this bitter all orange saffron spiciness. So we have two wonderful seafood dishes, one wheel sweet bread, which is wonderful with, with white wine as well, uh, and then a not too sweet dessert to go with a wonderful semillon here afterwards. Uh, and then, if I may offer you, um, you have some aperitif, some digestive. We have wonderful rum from Appleton Estate, the oldest estate in Jamaica. Or if something more lighter and fresher, a rum agricole uh, from the Fass, uh, extra old. And then afterwards, a nice Petit Four from Valrona, from here in France, a chocolate. We have wonderful selection of tea from Thé de Palace here in Paris. Uh, I believe the best selection of tea. Oolong, black tea, salon tea, and coffee, if you like. We have two types. We Time. have a... Thank you. <clears throat> For your next task, to be a great sommelier, you have to know the wine market well. The restaurant has been offered to buy some very special bottles, but there are some mistakes on this list. This list, we're on the screen. There are some mistakes on this list, either in the information or the price. Can you find the errors? You will have two minutes for this. Can you kindly repeat, please? To be a great sommelier, you have to know the wine market well. The restaurant has been offered to buy some very special bottles, but there are some mistakes on this list, either in the information or the price. Can you find the errors, please? Two minutes starting now. So, Krug Claude de Menil, uh, 1978. First vintage was 79, so this wine does not, this champagne does not exist. Egen Müller, Schatzhofberger, Riesling, Ausles, 1971. I think the price, uh, the price for this wine probably will be a little bit more higher. It's a top producer from the Mosul. Chateau Margot, 1982. Uh, great vintage. Um, the price seems also quite correct. So we go Chateau Margot, 1983. Actually, Margot is well known for the 83 vintage after the great 82. And Margot is more well known for the 83. So the price should be much more higher than 1982. Uh, Tenuta San Guido, Sicaia, 1969. Yes, the first vintage was 68, um, but I believe the price would be probably higher for this great classic. Vega Sicilia, Unico, 2001, Ribera del Duero, Castilla y León. Uh, the price seems quite correct, and so, so the wine. Graham, Graham Single Harvest, Tony Port, Artisan, 1974. Um, it's not a Tony Port, I believe it's a vintage port. Um, would correct that one. And five liters, I think the price would be much higher for this great vintage. Vendory Cabernet Malbec, 1996. 150 euro is way too cheap, should be higher, around 600. Alma Viva, 2003, 150. Puento Alto, Aconcagua Valley, Chile. Yes, I think that could be correct. Alma Viva was produced. Kuruziva, 31 year old, not Casca. And Nagano, Japan. I'll skip over. Martin Mills, 24 year old bourbon, Buffalo Trace, 5000, Kentucky. Seems correct. And Kuicho Motai, we, sorry, my Chinese, uh, Motai, there. Time. Right. More tasting coming up. Please make a full organoleptic tasting of the left glass. You have four minutes. Yes. So left glass wine number one is a clear and bright red wine with a deep ruby core, light garnet trim, moderate viscosity, no visual CO2 or sediment, and developing appearance in the nose. The wine is clean, fragrant, with elevated intensity of flavors, dominated by 
ripe red fruits, red cherry, red plum, a little bit of cassis, so dark fruits as well. Combination with dried rose petals and this wonderful evolution notes, wonderful complexity coming out, leather, smoke, truffle, mushroom, forest floor. Very uh, fine oak here as well, I, I believe partly new. You have some vanilla toast, baking spices, some cedar, and it is very layered, very complex, and still developing on the palate. Clean, dry, still, red wine with a moderate structure combined with wonderful, fresh, crispy acidity and supported by moderate, chalky grain, very fine and ripe tannin in combination with a moderate, well-balanced alcohol. The mid palate has elevated flavor concentration, lovely savory texture. The glass is full of ripe red cherries, red plums, a little bit of cassis in combination with herbal notes of eucalyptus, dried mint, savory herbs like oregano and bay leaf, and again, these wonderful complexity flavors from aging, leather, tobacco, smoke, very fine oak of cedar and toast, and a slightly kind of gravelly minerality, more like a texture ap uh, appearance. Um, on the palate, wine is still developing with great complexity and very persistent length. To conclude, excellent quality wine because of the concentration, complexity, uh, made in a very classic way, raised in a classic way, reflecting a moderate climate. Uh, I would serve this wine now, but it has great aging potential, I would say at least 10 to 12 years. I would serve this wine decanted 30 minutes before in a Bordeaux-shaped glass at a temperature 16 degrees. I think this wine comes from France, from Bordeaux, from the left bank. It is a Cru Classé, uh, definitely of uh, high quality, based on Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, and Merlot. From a great vintage, I would place uh, 2005. Um, and it, it comes from San Estef. And uh, this is a great wine, actually, with a Tornedos Rossini, so Charolais beef with a nice slice of foie gras, fresh black truffle, and a wonderful Bordelais sauce and au gratin of potatoes. The wine has richness, concentration, which will be balanced by the richness of the dish, and the wonderful earthy Bordelais sauce will complement the fruits, and the truffle will give another dimension to these wonderful evolution notes of this wine. This is also a great uh, wine for meditation and cheese, so uh, a great uh, Ossei Iriti from Aquitani, or a great aged uh, uh, Comte cheese as well. And if you like cigar, I believe this would be perfect with a Coiba Robusto, uh, just to have a nice smoke and with these wonderful tobacco maturity flavors of this uh, wonderful wine. Uh, yeah, beautiful wine, um, as I said, perfect to enjoy now. The quality is really, really high here. A lot of complexity. And as I said, I think this is a classified uh, growth, uh, at least, uh, from San Estef, because it has this kind of slightly earthy, chocolatey, uh, a bit rough, but in a very positive way. Thank you very much. Now, the glass number two, the right glass, it's the same wine, but of a different vintage. Please identify the vintage and sell the wine to the audience. You have three minutes. So, from the appearance, it definitely looks older. You can't see it, unfortunately, but it, it shows almost like this tawny color on the rim. Wow. So this wine really shows a great, great complexity. Um, this definitely shows even more evolution notes. The fruits are still there, but they're already turning this sweet, slightly cooked and dried character. Um, the evolution notes like truffle, mushrooms, I would say they are like uh, the dominant flavors of this wine. Wonderful acidity. The wine is still very good balanced with super fine tannins and uh, I think this wine is at least 30 years of age. So I would say a great vintage from the 90s. Uh, I think 
could be 1990, for example, or even 1989. Um, I feel a lot of actually concentration. The tannins are still quite active, quite a lot. So I will call a great vintage. Uh, 1990, which was warm, generous, gave wines of high concentration and really excellent aging potential. And um, this is an absolutely wonderful wine, still enjoyable now, but actually I think from the palate and from the character, we could keep it, you know, it's, it's a prediction, but uh, I would say another eight plus years definitely, because there's a lot of energy, concentration, still the fruits are there. And yeah, I would say 1990 and uh, an absolutely wonderful wine. Thank you so much, Raymond. We're done for the first part. Soon you, um, you know, you'll be taken backstage, but you have to come back once more. Thank so you. thank you very much, and a big hand for Raymond Thompson's thank you. Latvia. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat>